Hi everyone, my name is Kaylani Grounds. Um, I am going to teach you the critical elements of chest passing. Um, I don't have a larger ball with me or available right now, so I'm using this small ball. Again, I've been using it for my past videos. So, for the critical elements of chest passing, it's pretty simple. There's really only three um, steps to go along with this, which one is the ready position, the next one is part of movement, which is also the step and push, and finally the last part is the follow through. The follow through is probably one of the most important things, because if you do not follow through, then you could potentially get hurt due to your momentum stopping at not a correct time. So for the first position, which is the ready position, you want to be facing your target and you want to make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart, knees bent, eyes on target, and the ball is held with your thumbs together on the back side of the ball and your fingers on the side of the ball. And you need to hold the ball um, close to your body um, at your chest level. That's why it's called um, chest passing. So once again, um, feet shoulder width apart, bend at the knees, so bend at the knees, thumbs together at the back of the ball, close to the body, to the chest area. That's the first part. The next part is the step and push. During this step, you wanna step forward with one foot while extending the arms and release the ball towards the target. So once again, remember that your eyes are always supposed to be on the target. So you wanna make sure that if you want to throw the ball to the left side, then you need to make sure that your body completely turns over to the left side and your eyes are facing forward. Because if you do not do that, your end goal or your, where you want the ball to go, your target will not get reached. And that's the most important part in order to connect the pass. So right here, starting position, thumbs together, knees bent, shoulder apart, ball, and push. And you want to make sure you release towards the target, which my target is forward, so towards the target. So I release now, or release now. So you want to make sure you release at the proper time, or else the ball will not make it to the target. So the last part is the follow through. So basically, just during this step, sorry, one second. You just want to make sure that you after the ball is released your hands are churned and your palms are facing away from each other um, with your thumbs pointing towards the ground and the wrist and your wrist snap with this action so for this part it's more so hands are here because you're holding the ball here flick and down flick and down so now i'm going to do it all together so you can see all together and that is the critical elements of trespassing.